Look at some of the promises that were made and the realities on the ground as is. Equally, we're set to evaluate the weak stop developments from those remarks by the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, that act those who are affected in one way or the other to the bipartisan talks that are set to resume tomorrow morning. Equally, it's said to be a heavy week in terms of devolution as we'll be celebrating 10 years of devolution. The function set to be held in Wasin Gishu County. So we'll be taking stock of some of the wins and highlights around devolution 10 years later. Allow me to introduce my panelists, starting with Gabriel Muduma, not a new face, a name to the show. Karibu sana, it's great to have you with us, governance uh, expert. Uh, Santa I sana, hope you Jesse. had a fantastic week. We had. It's been an amazing week. Yes, looking forward to your <laughs> input right here. Equally joined by Kevin Osido uh, from the County Governance Watch, but in his capacity right here as a governance <laughs> expert. Karibu sana, it's great to have you with us. I see that counter suit. Eh? Oh, this one. Uh, this, is, who? this is three years old. He's coping me. By the way, the week has been good. Yes. Quite busy, uh -huh. but uh, we are glad that uh, we are now just about to start uh, another week. And I'm sure you'll have a busy week in terms of <laughs> oh, yes. gains oh, yes. and hits and misses around sure, sure. evolution. Sure, sure, exactly. And we'll get to talk about sure, it. Sure. Asante sana for your time. Equally, I'm pleasured to host Dr. Brian Mutier, who is a governance expert and advocate as well. Karibu sana. Hope you had a fantastic week. Absolutely. Can't complain at all. Uh, I see Can't you have complain. your constitution ready. Oh, yes. This is my Bible. <laughs> yeah. Always moving with it. Okay. As a lawyer, this is the training that I get. Yeah. And I can't leave this behind. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be guided properly. Yeah, by the rule of law. By the rule of the law. Ah, yes. So, so, gentlemen, <laughs> let's start with matters away from the rule of law. And it's all to do with some of the remarks we saw this week from the Inspector General of Police, where he has been accused of insensitivity after claiming the opposition had corpses to make it appear that police had killed protesters. And following that particular comment, the IG is under fire from the Azimula Omoja coalition, those who are believed, the civil society. Equally, yesterday we saw morticians come out and hold him to account asking him to mention which motician specifically allow this hiring of bodies. So let's start with you, Gabriel, briefly. <laughs> was this comment reckless, unfortunate, and is an apology sufficient? You see, just I like putting things into context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what uh, the IG said. The first thing, probably, uh, where I would come from if we are to attempt to really answer that question is, where was he coming from? Where was the IG coming from? So number one, uh, we knew all of us there was a time where the Mandamano were infiltrated by not so good people. And to an extent, some members of the civil society had actually mentioned they were malicious within the Mandamano. Uh, the funny thing is that the organizers of the Mandamano did not even raise that issue up of the malicious. So when you have um, an environment which we know was quite chaotic, uh -huh. uh, infiltrated by people who, whose character is highly and very questionable, anything can suffice. So uh, to the remarks of the IG, I hold the opinion, and this is Gabriel's opinion, that he got the information from some level of intelligence. It would be, therefore, a little bit crass if it never came from intelligence. So the position he holds, uh, we need to give it to him and really maybe trust that he got it from intelligence. And that's why I would say he sits in a very good position to elaborate his statements. I do not think... Okay. Uh, we would be in a better position to elaborate what he said because i believe it's still an ongoing issue i do not think those statements were just idle so i can guarantee probably we will hear more of it um and uh, you know lastly we have again to give it to the police we know they are guided by law and by constitution to protect lives and property so on that one, we need to give to them for the hard work that they did. 
uh, obviously, as uh, people have said, you will always have uh, bad apples amongst the good apples. Okay. Is it um, a force or a service that is still uh, growing? Of course. Are they still learning? Of course. Do some of them need the training? Of course. It will always be an institution that will require to go uh, and uh, re-engineer herself from time to time, okay. just like any other uh, uh, force. Okay, so reforms should definitely on uh, continue.